channel my name is Oliver Ashton Darla Yemi and it's so good to have you back uh, <laughs> on this channel I talk about faith, career, relationships, lifestyle and every other good stuff I create very beautiful content and you can check back on all other of my videos to watch and catch up with me please subscribe if you've not subscribed to my channel and please click on the notification bell so that whenever I post a new video you'll be the first person to know Yes, I always come here to apologize after I've taken a long break and that's because of a lot of things. Um, so instead of just coming back to say, okay, let me just drop a video and decided to like talk about why I've been off for like um, a month there about and um, a lot of things that I plan I'm planning or I'm cooking um, underneath. So it's truthfully, even though um, to a large extent I like to blame it on my poor time management skills, but at the same time there's a lot of things that I'm working on. Um, I mean, if you've watched my engagement video, you know that definitely I'm planning a wedding. Um, I'm planning a wedding, even though I have help around, I have my fam my friends, I have families, I have a wedding planner. Okay, so I don't know about the wedding planner <laughs> aspect yet. But, um, but I mean, I have people that are helping me with the planning and all of that but um i mean if you are someone that really likes to be involved in everything that goes on around you you know that even if you have people doing it you still want to be involved then i'm doing my master's at the moment and um, i'm about finishing i'm doing my project and all of that so it's taking it all of it's taking a toll on me I mean, <laughs> it's taking a toll on me also because I mean, I have to make sure that I'm attending classes and I'm meeting my supervisors and all of that. And I have a night to five people, so that's also something. I mean, it's a lot, and I would like leadership positions in like different places in church, some NGOs, all of that. that I have to devote my time into. So, guys, it's it's a whole lot. I just got, I just recently completed my professional exam, and I'm looking out for another one. I like book. Yes, I know. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that, I mean, a girl is doing and it's really taking a lot of time. But hopefully, I'm going to be back. Yes, I'm going to be back soon. And that's why I'm doing this video so that I, mean, I can just discuss what I've been up and everything. So, um, let's just talk. Let's just chat about things going on in the world. And I really wanted to do a video about how to um, undo. I mean, everyone probably saw the in morning video where she was killed because she went for a job interview and all of that and i saw a lot of people posting out um ads and all of that or tips on how to be sure that you are safe for going for an interview so really um i mean you would say that she 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 did everything that they will tell you i mean they'll tell you post your notification and put, put your location on tell a friend where you are going to make sure you double check that the location that i mean there's a, it's an apartment or something or like it's an office there's a lot of things that they will tell you to do but really you can't be too safe you can't be you like no matter how, how extra careful you think you are these people are getting wiser and wiser by the day and it's just god that is keeping us really it's just god that is keeping us like it like when i saw the video when i saw the the post it sent like coaches down my my spine i was so i might just feel that this could be anybody this could be anybody this girl did everything she could whenever people call me to say oh i got a job invite this is it do you think i should go do you think it's real the first thing i go is to go on ireland to go and check because you will always see a review on ireland and if you've not seen any on ireland the other day i picked up the phone to call for my cousin to call the center the place that she got the interview for i called like i did my own interview on the recruiter to be sure that this person but the person was so intrigued the person was like are you coming for the interview <laughs> and i said yes i'm coming i mean i just said yes i'm coming and the person was like, asking for my name and i gave the person my cousin's name i'm sure the person would have like, probably given an extra here to say this girl must be like because i really really interviewed the person like i was i was making sure that this is actually true and when she got there she found that it was actually true it was a real interview so you can't be too careful but you also need to like put all the measures you need to put in to make sure that you are safe tell someone where you are going to and if you do not apply for a job i know that desperation can make you to um, want to go out for it i mean when you put your cvs on some of these job sites like career builder job man indeed and all of that recruiters can reach out to you and say oh we want you to um meet up with us or anything but then you could book a conversation a virtual phone this thing with them to first say okay um, i want to talk to you because they'll, tell you, they'll give you numbers to call right just call the number first like speak with them if you're not still sure there's something like instinct like your instinct just keeps telling you you are not sure, you are not sure, and you double check your system that there is nothing again. You can speak with a recruiter friend that you know or another person to say, Oh, I'm going for this interview, I'm not so sure, but 
do you think i mean just explain to them and let them also let a third person also like converse with you to just so you are, just so you are extra sure that this place is right you get like um another thing is also that most organizations like proper organizations have email addresses when you are saying deborah um deborah 99 at gmail.com sending you a no that's wrong even if it's a recruiter even if it's an organization supposed to have career life you get or um i mean a proper name not um deborah.org or bona boy for life do you get all those kind of things you're supposed to be very cautious about the email address sending you um the job offer another thing to also look out for is that um the job description is vague or they're asking you to pay money nobody no company is supposed to ask you to pay money to do anything so if they're asking you to pay money or they are trying to wishy washy like you feel like the conversation they're having with them is not straight please start suspecting the person another thing you're supposed to look out for if they send you an email you can also see in your email they say um, this message has been reported as pass as spam if that been reported as scam or anything already just do not um, believe and there are also some job websites there's some job alt website that you can like put in the email or all of that attach the message on to be able to confirm if it is true or not i don't know them off the top of my head at the moment but i know that if you copy a message and put on naira land people will respond to you and then if you check some job if you just check job on site or how to find out job scams and all of that you also see some things related to that but then i know that if someone tells you to, to pay money please do not accept if there's a job if there's a if there's a job that says that because nowadays you can even say normally they will say okay if you're going to a residential address be very careful still be very careful but now a lot of organizations or a lot of organizations are in residential area so you cannot expressly say if it's in a residential area don't go but then you also have to be very careful when you're going to residential areas and you also need to be very 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 sure a lot of times i would advise that someone goes to another person but then i know that it's not it's not um it's i mean you can't always be going with people especially when you're really job searching you need to go to a lot of places we are so grateful to god now that there are a lot of virtual interviews going on now so you don't have to even physically go to a company before you are offered the job but at least while you're still going to physical addresses please be very very careful uh, you can't be extra like you can't be too careful you can't be too careful so do everything you need to do to at least make sure that you've tried your best you tried your best because i mean what makes in this case be so painful to me is because she really tried to be safe and at the end of the day she still got hurt um i know that just i pray that justice be, i know not saying i know this is nigeria i pray that justice prevails but you can't be too careful that I said and um I mean make sure that all your all, I mean you 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 got all details right and you're sure that it's a right complaint and if you're not too sure if your instinct is telling you something else please follow your instinct follow your instinct um and you will not regret it I was going to say something but it skipped my mind now so this was just just me talking about um this is not what I, what I planned to say but I didn't plan I didn't really prepare to talk about this but I just really wanted to do a sit down video to talk about what has happened what is happening so I'm planning my wedding people are going to see a lot of wedding planning content going forward um I did a wedding about um, what to do after you get engaged and it's so long I've been thinking about editing it I don't even know if you want that long video let me know if you want it. I also want to do a video of how we met. I've told bros, but man's busy. <laughs> so um, when we finally get a time to film that, we're going to be filming how we met. Um, I could have just sat down to do the video of how we met, but I really don't want it to be just only me. I wanted it to be both of us filming different parts of our me because you know how he met me very much. I probably met him. So um, not different, different like that, but at least you know that the story is just not going to be the same. Because my income fine and not gonna find me. Um, I also want to do a video about I wanted to do one video like that though. I was planning to do. okay, yes. Yeah, so I also wanted, I also want to do a video about I mean a lot of people have been just me about what God can do when you're about to get married, like the testimonies and all of that. And trust me, testimonies are so lifters, testimonies are so lifters. Like there's a lot of times that people just come, no one just gave me a testimony on Sunday. I myself and my fiance were actually there when when the person was just in us. And when we go back, we're just like, God, like, man, God is just so powerful. Like, I really want to share that testimony with everyone that is planning a wedding because I know it's really going to help you and strengthen your faith. So if you think that is something you want to listen to, please tell me. I'm going to be more than joyous to film that video. The video is actually like, I want to like speak with people or put it on my social media account to say, if you have a testimony, God, like, God did something miraculous when you're planning your wedding. Please like summarize it and give me the gist. I want to like read the testimony out for people. So I'm just going to just like read out the testimony for you people 
so that people can like get the soul you get and i mean you're lifted so your face is lifted at the end of the day i also want to do a wedding planning q and a but i really hope that people ask me questions like i'm very skeptical if i put out the link on my instagram so that you need to follow me on instagram twitter if you're not if you're not my whatsapp at least instagram and twitter or put the message down this video so that i mean put the question down this video so that i can discuss it if i don't see plenty of questions i'll still do the video <laughs> But if I don't see too many questions, I'll probably like Google wedding planning Q&A and I answer with my own experience. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know the kind of videos you also want me to like do going forward. You might have to like, no, we'll be doing a lot of wedding planning videos yeah, at this point. Probably putting snippets of my lifestyle. I also do a lot of vlogs on when I go to test my wedding gown and a lot of things. Maybe when I go to the market and all of that. I have a lot of video plans on my, if you see my video plan, you know I have a lot of videos for you. But like career videos and all of that will probably like mellow for now while we discuss the things that are going on in the life i know that people like love just so i'm gonna be giving you what's what thank you very much for watching to the end of the video don't forget to like share subscribe leave a comment and engage with my video till the next time you see my lovely face stressed after all remain blessed i love you all bye